So once again, we're looking at absolute value equations. The process is essentially the same as it was in the past. Uh, the difference is the type of algebraic manipulation we have to use. Uh, we isolate the absolute value expression on one side of the equation. We write the equivalent equations, uh, setting it equal to the negative and equal to the positive, then solve each equation and check the solution. So with this problem, we're given 3 times the absolute value of x minus 4 minus 4 equals 8. So again, the first step, we isolate the absolute value. So 3 times the absolute value of x minus 4 minus 4 equals 8. First step is to add 4 to both sides. We get 3 times the absolute value of x minus 4 equals 8 plus 4, which is 12. Divide both sides by 3. We get the absolute value of x minus 4 equals 4. And this is when we split it into the two equations, x minus 4 equals the negative of what the absolute value equals. So x minus 4 equals negative 4, or x minus 4 equals 4. Solving these, if we add 4 to both sides, we get x equals 0, or x equals 8. Now checking the solution, we plug both values back into our original equation to verify that they make true statements. So 3 times our first solution for x was 0. Minus 4. Minus 4. We want to know, does that equal 8? So 3 times the absolute value of negative 4. minus 4 that's 3 times 4 minus 4 which is 12 minus 4 which does indeed equal 8 so x equals 0 checks as a solution 3 times the absolute value of our other solution was x equals 8 so 8 minus 4 minus 4 again does that equal 8 so 3 times the absolute value of 4 minus 4 3 times 4 minus 4 which is 12 minus 4 And that is verified as well because 8 equals 8. So our two solutions to 3 times the absolute value of x minus 4 minus 4 equals 8 are x equals 0 or x equals 8.